Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Dylan here. Well, we have breaking news. Donald J. Trump has just picked his running mate to be his vice president should he win in November 2024. And as we are looking today, all signs are pointing to a massive 2024 win. And even though someone tried to assassinate Donald J. Trump on Saturday, he is in Wisconsin for the Republican National Convention where him and, uh, well, his sons went on the microphone, I'm gonna play the footage, and appointed or announced that he was gonna be the Republican nominee and they chose J.D. Vance to be his running mate who is actually an outstanding faith-filled Catholic Christian man who I wanted to actually show some of this amazing footage of this man, J.D. Vance. And keep in mind, my friends, Donald J. Trump, I was actually saying this, if Donald Trump picks a Christian to be his vice president, you know what it says in scriptures, right? It says, God raises up those in authority. And Mike Johnson, when he was chosen to be the Speaker of the House, him and the, the group that he was with, they said that they had basically, uh, they were hoping and they were getting a message from God that God is going to start raising up not only good leaders, but also Christian leaders. So this was actually fulfilled today with J.D. Vance being chosen as Trump's running mate because if he does become the vice president, you're gonna have Donald Trump, who is a Presbyterian Christian. You're gonna have J.D. Vance, who is a Catholic Christian. You're gonna have Mike Johnson, who's a Christian. And even potentially, guys, if the Senate gets flipped to Republican, you might see a Christian Republican leader. So we could have Christian leaders in every section of the government, my friends, including the vice president. That would be outstanding. You would have four Christian leaders, all right? So before we jump in, we are going to read the Bible. We are going to pray because God comes first. Amen? Comment amen down below if you believe that God comes first, all right? Today, we're going to do a reading about God's love because I do think that God's love never fails. So comment below if you believe. Comment amen if you believe that God ne God's love never fails. All right, this comes from the book, first book of Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast. It is not proud, it is not rude. It is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Now we see but a poor reflection as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And now these three remain, faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Amen. Comment amen down below. How beautiful is that? that God's love never fails. All right, let's jump into this update from Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. All right, so here is Trump's a official statement that he said, guys, picking J.D. Vance as his vice president running mate. After lengthy deliberation and thought and considering the tremendous talents of many others, I have decided that the person best suited to assume the position of Vice President of the United States is Senator J.D. Vance of the great state of Ohio. J.D. honorably served our country in the Marine Corps, 
graduated from Ohio State University in two years, summa cum laude, and is a Yale Law School graduate. He must be smart. Where he was editor of the Yale Law Journal and president of the Yale Law Veterans Association. JD's book, Hillbilly Elegy, became a major bestseller and movie. I gotta watch that movie and read that book. As it is, as it championed the hardworking men and women of our country, JD has had a very successful business career in technology and finance, inspiring, and now during the campaign will be strongly focused on the people he fought so brilliantly for, the American workers and farmers in Pennsylvania, Michigan, Wisconsin, Ohio, Minnesota, and far beyond. By the way, my friends, J.D. Vance is a young patriot, a young man. Look how old J.D. Vance is. He is 39 years old. He was born in 1984. This is a young man, young Christian man, who knows his stuff, and he's going to be on a great team with Donald John Trump. They've been seen together before. They've spent a lot of time together. And Trump knows from his personal experience, he trusts this man. And oh, yeah, my friends, I almost forgot. Not only is, would Donald Trump and J.D. Vance be Christian, we'd also have Melania Trump as a Christian first lady. So we could have several Christian leaders I mean, we even remember Melania Trump reciting the Lord's Prayer. Do you remember that, my friends? Melania Trump recited the Lord's Prayer. How beautiful was that when she said that? Donald Trump also went on to say, as Vice President, J.D. will continue to fight for our Constitution, stand with our troops, and will do everything he can to help me make America great again. Congratulations to Senator J.D. Vance, his wife, Usha, who also graduated from Yale Law School and their three beautiful children. Wow, he's a father of three children, so young and already has three children. Donald Trump also said, in light of what is going on in the world today, I believe it is imperative that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. receive Secret Service protection immediately. Given the history of the Kennedy family, this is the obvious right thing to do. Donald Trump, time and time again, proves that he is humble. He is a leader. He is a man of the people. Trump Vance, here it is official. Make America great again. And boy, oh boy, is J.D. Vance a far better pick than Mike Pence, who turned his back on Trump. Somebody shared this. Oksana Trump, the next vice president of the United States of America, J.D. Vance. Yes, Donald Trump said he served in the Marine Corps, right? Yep, he served our country in the Marine Corps. This man already sacrificed his life for America in the Marine Corps, and now he's ready to do it as a potential vice president, Trump's new vice president. Let's make America great again. Guys, are you ready? Are you ready? Trump Vance 2024. This is a photo of Corey. Fisherman, dad, firefighter, hero. He saved his wife's life and his daughter's life shielding his family from gunfire at the Trump rally. Rest in peace, Corey Comparator. This is an amazing choice. Some people are saying it's not a great choice. Let's tune into this. Somebody says, who is the real J.D. Vance? All right, let's see who, what this guy says. As a like Trump myself, the elites were right about Donald Trump, right? I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. He's the best president of my lifetime, and he revealed the corruption in this country like nobody else. I can't stomach Trump. I think that he's 
noxious and is leading the white working class to a very dark place. I think that he was a good president. I think he made a lot of good decisions for people. I think you're not a Trump supporter from what I've read. Am I right? Is that a fair assessment? Yeah. yeah. I didn't vote for Trump. All around, he was a great president. I'm 37 years old. Certainly the best president of my lifetime. So I think this is old footage. What do you guys think? I mean, people change. You can tell they're, they're definitely mixing up footage from when he was very young. Um, I mean, this was almost 10 years ago where he didn't like Trump. I mean, people do change. I mean, Ted Cruz was the same thing. But, hey, you can never be too, too trustworthy, but I'm assuming Donald Trump and J.D. Vance talked about all that. Now, J.D. Vance could become second Catholic vice president after Trump picked him. But in the wake of his recent endorsement of the abortion pill, his pro-life commitment has been questioned. So, J.D. Vance, again, he is Catholic, but maybe some questionable things about the um, pro-life movement. He says, my view, and I, I'm trying to be completely honest here with you guys. If I would just come on my show and just say, you know, that I agree with everything, I don't agree with everything Trump says either. I'm going to give you guys everything I find. Uh, J.D. Vance said, my views on public policy and what the optimal state should look like are pretty aligned with Catholic social teaching. Uh, very interesting. So, he's very open and proud about his faith, but it's not that gross over piety that's kind of fake. While Vance identifies as pro-life, his recent comments in favor of keeping abortion pills available have some pro-lifers aghast. You know, Donald Trump actually, he... Uh, talked about the pro-life movement too. He said, look, I'm pro-life, but I want people to have their freedoms. You know, he doesn't, he didn't want to upset everybody. Catholic Courier shared this. Trump names Ohio Senator J.D. Vance a Catholic as his running mate. On July 15th, Trump was widely expected to name his running mate at the Republican National Convention, which began the same day. Now, I wanted to show you guys uh, Vivek Ramaswamy, who was another guy who almost, you know, was going to be one of the names this is uh, Vivek Ramaswamy live reacting to the news that J.D. Vance was picked. Let's tune in. Donald Trump has picked Senator J.D. Vance. You kidding me? Right here? Okay. Vice President. <laughs> right now, right now, while we are sitting Is that right? There it is. I see it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm glad to see it. I actually, uh, I actually messaged J.D. earlier today yeah. offering him. It sounded like the winds were pointing in that direction. Yes. And I, uh, I had offered him my preliminary congratulations, and I think he will be an outstanding vice president, actually. I think he's not going to be a good vice president. He'll be an outstanding vice president. I think President Trump and our country will be lucky to have him. I will certainly do everything in my power to make sure the Trump-Vance ticket is successful. I want to think about this, but I, I'm inclined to say this could be the, the single most formidable political ticket in my lifetime. And I want to see them succeed at a scale that not only makes the Republican Party thrive, but makes the country thrive. And, you know, I think we need more people like J.D. in American politics. So I'm very happy for him and excited for everything that's ahead. I mean, guys, J.D. Vance being chosen, I have to say, and I was just telling my mom this earlier when I found out the news, I actually think this is a very strategic choice that Trump made picking a young patriot, a young Christian man who's not very divisive, right? People who uh, could have been very divisive. And, and by the way, Trump is already very divisive. I think it's good that Trump picks somebody that's going to appeal to a larger audience where, you know, you have everyday Republicans who aren't MAGA, but they say, oh, I like J.D. Vance. I think that's a good choice for Trump. I'm going to pick those two. Rather than, let's say Trump picked Marjorie Taylor Greene, a lot of people don't like her, right? I think that that kind of would have clashed with a lot of with a lot of Republicans. Uh, it, it's kind of good to to pick somebody that balances you out. If Trump picked Carrie Lake again, by the way, I love Marjorie Taylor Greene. I love Carrie Lake, but they are very outspoken. They they piss a lot of people off and. Pick the, p Trump knows what he's doing. He's picking a running mate who, is, who has a strong, who's very smart, who's very strong, and who 
you know, obviously he's changed his mind about Trump. Look at that smile. He's up there. He's not, oh gosh, Trump picked me. Oh no. He's ecstatic, my friends. People have change of, changes of hearts. And you know, by the way, J.D. Vance, he act, I actually pulled up this article while I was doing research about him. Five faith, back, faith facts about Trump's VP pick, J.D. Vance. You know how you can become a born again, a born again Christian, meaning you, you, I mean, we're all sinners, but you le led a life of sin. You know, you, maybe you were an alcoholic, you did drugs, you did this, you did that, you were, you, you didn't believe in God, but then you, you were born again. So J.D. Vance, he is an adult convert to Catholicism. So you guys just saw those, that footage of, oh, he doesn't like Trump, right? That was before he converted to Christianity, to, to Catholicism. By the way, I'm saying Catholic Christian because, um, well, I'm Catholic and we Catholics believe, uh, I don't know what your beliefs are, but Catholicism is a uh, form of Christianity, if that makes sense. So, you know, Christian is kind of, Christianity is, is the umbrella, it's a denomination of Christianity, right? Like you have Presbyterian, which Trump is, right? And you have... Um, uh, Pentecostal, you you might have uh, non-denominational Catholicism. So that's why I kind of interchangeably use Christian and Catholic sometimes because, you know, you if you're Catholic, you are also Christian. Anyways, Vance converted to Catholicism. That was after all of those remarks because those remarks were back in 2016. Trump, uh, J.D. Vance said, oh, I didn't vote for Trump. Well, it's like, okay, yes, but he's also a completely different man. He was baptized Five years ago, you know, he's, he's, he's done a 180, right? You're an adult convert. All right, I know what it's like. I converted, I didn't grow up Christian, and then I converted later on. Uh, J.D. Vance converted to Catholicism in, in August 2019. He was baptized and confirmed, which, by the way, that's a very humble thing to do. Right, he's 39 now. This would have been uh, five years ago. At the age of 34, I mean, he lived 34 years of his life and then decided, I want to become Catholic now. That's a very humble thing to do. To recognize, look, I'm a child of God. I want to change my life. So he, he changed his life. He was also baptized by a Demi Dominican friar. So this is like the most Catholic of Catholic that you can get, my friends. A Dominican? If you're a Catholic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. D a Dominican. This is a the top kind of branch of priests, I guess. I don't even know what you call it, but. Um, Vance told Dreher that he'd converted because he became persuaded over time that Catholicism was true. He observed that the people who meant the most to him were Catholic. Vance said his conversion would have happened sooner if not for the clergy abuse crisis, which forced me to process the church as, as a divine and a human institution and what it would mean for my two-year-old son. So he did that basically for his children. Vance is tied to Catholic integralism, an ideology that seeks Christian influence over society. So he kind of, you know, wants to instill his Christian faith on our country. Pretty cool, guys. I don't know. He's kind of growing on me. Uh, Vance's wife, Usha, is not Christian. She was raised in a Hindu household. Awesome. Very cool. She did not grow up in a, a religious household said Usha, um, but she was raised in a Hindu household. So, um, who clerked for Supreme Court? Roberts and Kavanaugh are both Catholic. Interesting. My parents are Hindu. That is one of the reasons they made such good parents. Yeah, I mean, look, I think this is a very good thing. Vance thinks Christianity is an answer to existential questions about American identity. His statements about abortion and immigration may trigger blowback from some Catholics. Yeah, we'll see, guys. But let's let's pull in um, let's pull in JD Vance. He uh, went on Fox News. Let's tune in. His name is mentioned quite often uh, as a finalist uh, for a potential VP pick. Uh, I, it really seems to be coming down to you, Doug Burgum, Marco Rubio, Tim Scott. Um, 
I, I got to imagine that's pretty overwhelming. Uh, uh, Senator, your thoughts? Well, Sean, it's an incredible honor to be considered with those guys. I think Donald Trump has got a lot of talented people we could choose from. And the most important thing, of course, is just that we reelect him because that's what matters is re-delivering peace and prosperity for the American people. And I think all of us believe that Donald Trump can do that because he has done that. Uh, we have to remember, Sean, that the stakes in this election are so unusual and they're so obvious. Uh, never in my lifetime have we had an election where you have one guy who governed for four years successfully, one guy who governed for four years catastrophically. And whether it's Joe Biden at the top of the ticket or Kamala Harris, who, of course, has covered for Biden's cognitive decline and defended every policy from his disastrous border policy to his disastrous foreign policy, it really doesn't matter because the results speak for themselves. Trump delivered peace and prosperity. He delivered lower grocery prices and higher wages. And the Democrats have delivered exactly the opposite. That's a really good record uh, for us to run on. And I think Republicans are going to benefit up and down the ballot from that record and from those results. He is extremely articulate, very, very good speaker, and also very humble, too. Notice how he talks about, look, we need to get Trump in. He's not concerned about himself or I mean he obviously recognized it's a it's a big role but he's like we need we need Trump to win it's, it's a very humble thing seems like a very humble man he's growing on me guys I, I keep pointing out the the great cover-up and the great lie prior to the election in 2020 I was showing videos of Joe Biden's cognitive decline and it's gotten worse but it was very obvious before the 2020 election Nobody could ever tell me with a straight face that they didn't see that what, what we were witnessing and playing every single night. The fact that they all covered it up, the media mob covered it up, the Democrats covered it up. I mean, Joe Biden practically ran from his basement. The people around Biden covered it up. What's your reaction to that? Oh, it's so shameful, Sean. If you just talk about Kamala Harris, this is a person who for four years has saddled the United States with a president who can't do the job, and she did it all for political power. She knew that whether it was now or four years from now, she would be the person who stood to inherit the presidency. Well, what about the American people? What about having a president who doesn't invite Russia uh, and other countries to be aggressive? What about uh, having a president who doesn't invite Iran and Hamas to attack our allies? What about having a president who can function in the job and talk to world leaders without embarrassing us and, God forbid, causing a nuclear war? On every single issue, Kamala Harris actually is responsible for Joe Biden's disastrous presidency because she's covered for it. And like every other Democrat in, in elected leadership in this country, Sean, they all have gone on TV, on radio, on newspapers and said for years that Joe Biden can do the job and he's doing just fine. We know that that <laughs> Joe Biden sucks. Well, now we know they were lying and we should punish them for lying to our faces about it. Whoa! Punish them! J.D. Vance! Maybe he is more divisive than I thought. Maybe he is a little bit more strong than I thought. All right, guys, I wanted to play this. Uh, we do have uh, J.D. Vance getting announced um, as the uh, nominate nomination. Let's tune in. A motion to nominate by acclamation is now in order. The chair now recognizes Delegate Bernie Re Moreno, Senate candidate from Ohio, for the purpose of making a motion. Thank you, Madam Chair. My name is Bernie Marino. I'm honored to be the Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate from the great state of Ohio. This is all epic. I know firsthand that my dear friend J.D. is a selfless and brilliant fighter. He is a patriot who loves America. He loves Ohio. He loves his family. He's a great father, he's a great man, and that's what we need in this nation today. The J.D. Vance, America First is not just a slogan. It's his North Star. He has followed it every moment of his life and career. He knows what it's like to live in poverty, forgotten by Washington politicians. He is dedicated to ensure that no American is ever forgotten again. I like that. Madam Chair, it is a great honor 
to move that J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation by this Republican National Convention as its candidate for the office of Vice President of the United States of America. Yeah! I like that. Without objection, the previous question is ordered. The question is on the motion that Senator J.D. Vance be nominated by acclamation. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye! All those opposed, signify by saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the ayes have it, and the motion is adopted. Without objection, the motion to reconsider is laid upon the table. Wow, no objection. Gentlemen, I am proud to announce that Senator J.D. Vance has the overwhelming support of this convention to be the next Vice President of the United States. Wow. Thanks, for That's watching. huge, guys. I love seeing that smile. And you know what I was thinking about while I was listening in, guys? It almost makes me like him more that he used to not like Trump. Because... You know, you guys might be interested to know that I've not always been interested in politics. And sure, I never really disliked Trump, but I also never used to really like him. I wasn't really interested in politics. And it, until just a couple years ago, I started doing more research. So the fact that J.D. Vance used to not like Trump and then he cognitively had a change and go, you know what? No, I do like that man. The media loves to paint, we all know this, a horrible picture about Donald Trump. So I don't blame somebody for not liking Trump in a sense because that they're just listening to the media, right? But the fact that J.D. Vance had a change of heart, he converted to the Christian Catholic faith, he now fully supports Trump, it almost gains my respect just a little bit more. So I don't know about you, but as of now, I fully support this pick, this Trump Vance pick. So let me know your thoughts on this one, but huge news today, my friends. The RNC is scheduled for, to go out throughout this week. Trump will be giving a speech as well. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that one. Otherwise, God bless. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon.